Hello, this is Kurt Gowdy Shark Hunting, and today I will be doing a review video for the Daiwa 6500 uh, Saltist. Um, this is a fairly good reel from what I can tell. Uh, it holds approximately 440 yards of 80 pound braid, um, and it has a 33 pound drag system. Uh, it's all metal body, and the bale wire is just massive. That's one of the things I really noticed about it. Um, very, very good reel. It was uh, Daiwa's first, it was their real entry point into the saltwater market when, because when they first came out they were really just a freshwater reel company. And then they came out with the DF100 many, many years ago, which was their only saltwater reel. And then they came out with this, which is specifically built for offshore tuna fishing. It holds a lot of line. It's compact for the amount of line it holds, which means I can have... I prefer to use it for surf fishing, so I can put it on an array of rods. I do not just have to have one gigantic rod. I can put it on an array of different rods because it's so compact, but yet it holds a lot of line. Uh, it's very, very smooth. I believe it has six ball bearings. I believe that's how many it has. It's got a 6.2 to 1 gear ratio. Uh, I filled it up with about 440 yards of 80 braid. Uh, it's got the air bale system. Um, it's pretty light. It's only about a pound and a half. I wouldn't say it's very, very heavy. Um, it's very, very fast. Like I said, 6.2 to 1 gear ratio. The giant bale, bale wire is another thing, just like what they said with the pen battle. Um, if you look at the Stella, there's not a very big bale wire at all. It's very, very thin bale wire. Bale wire. This has a very thick bale wire. Um, it's the same one like on the Saltist or the Saltiga reels that Daiwa has now. Uh, it's like the one on the Penn Battle. It's also it's got a manual bale, so you don't have to worry about plugs snapping off on you when you're casting the tuna. Uh, it's only 33 pounds of drag when you're pointing it straight out. Which, when you're fishing and you got a fish taking line, it's about 40 pounds of drag because you have your reel like this and the rod's being doubled over. And then, if you're lifting a fish straight up, right off the side of the boat, it's about 50 pounds of dra max drag. So, it's a very, very good reel. Um, waterproof drag system, too. It's got a waterproof drag system. Um, just a very phenomenal reel. Um, they go for $239 a piece. You can get them from J&H Tackle. Uh, you can get them from Bass Pro Shops. You can get them for, from a lot of offshore uh, type of tackle shops. Um, this is one of, the most, one of their most popular reels because it goes up against the, uh, the Saragossa from Shimano, which is $100 more. And it has just about everything that Saragossa has. It has no ball joint, which is another thing with this reel. I prefer actually to have a ball joint, and uh, it has, you can also switch between sides, so if you're left handed or if you're right handed, it doesn't matter with this reel because you can switch the handles to either sides. Uh, certain reels have that capability. It's just a phenomenal reel from what I can tell. Uh, I have not had any problems with it just been a really good reel. It's uh, perfect for shark too. Uh, I know a guy who uses two of these reels um, for shark fishing. He's caught multiple sharks on these reels. So it's just with the 33 pounds of drag, it's about 40 when off the pier when you have a big fish taking line. It'll just stop anything that takes the bait that's on your rod. So um, just a phenomenal reel to go for about $239. Uh, you can get them at major tackle shops. Um, this is Kurt Gowdy, Shark Hunter, signing off. Please rate, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys later.